same in Detroit they do the pre-departure screening and these are the requirements or the documents that they ask from us at the Sky Club in Detroit and if you have a connecting flight to Seoul so they have a pre-departure screening so they will ask you for everything so at the first um, um, like there is a table there they will check your temperature and then another table they will ask for your one health pass the QR code and then the negative RT-PCR test and then they will ask you to go to to the ticket counter uh, the ticket counter at the gate and then from there um, they asked us if we have a travel insurance but since I am a Balik and I am a Filipino I don't need a travel insurance and also my husband uh, since he's under me so he don't need a travel insurance and my, my son he is um, a dual citizen so he's fine he don't need a travel insurance as well so they asked for our QR code from One Health Pass. They asked for the passports, boarding passes, vaccination, uh, vaccination records. Yeah, and then after you pass um, all the requirements, they will put a sticker at the back of your passport. And then that's it. So um, we'll keep you on the loop, so stay tuned. Hi guys, so we are finally boarded uh, to Manila and it's, it's, it's going to be a long flight so good luck, good luck to us so safe travel for us, bye! guys so we are now here at gate 32 in terminal 1 and same in Detroit they do the pre-departure screening and these are the requirements or the documents that they asked from us so when we got to the boarding area um, they asked for your passports they asked for your vaccination record they asked for your PCR test, and 
and then when they get the PCR test, they wanted your first uh, departure city. Um, they wanted to see the boarding passes for that, so they can match up the boarding time with the PCR test to make sure you got it within 48 hours of departing. Um, they needed um, to see your Health One pass. They needed. Um, they wanted to see uh, Trevor's birth certificate. They wanted to see our marriage certificate. They and then we had to fill out, sign some documents once they went through all the checklist. Had to sign documents, um, basically that everything had been provided and then we have a some sort of form that we, they gave us to fill out that we're going to hand in when we get to Manila which is kind of weird because the basic information is already there but hey it is what it is so that was pretty much it that I could think of and then the only other thing they wanted to do was match up your bag tags with the baggage that they have listed that's going to be on the plane so they wanted to make sure all the pieces that were accounted for, um, which is interesting because I've never seen anybody ever do that before, but they just matched up the pieces of the bag with your bag tag, and they did that for everyone. Other than that, we're just waiting on a plane that seems to be running late. There's only going to be about 50 of us on the plane, which is cool. It was plenty of room to spread out and go to bed. <laughs> so we'll see you guys in Manila, and we'll keep you updated. Bye!